Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here on ArcoTexHomePage.com as well as the ArcoTexHomePage.com app. And of course, we're still watching that big upper level low, which is making its way into Texas right now. Has produced some snow over the western sections of Texas. Not going to do that for us, but has been producing lots of rain. The big question is, will we see anything as far as thunderstorms? And it's looking as if that risk is looking very, very low here as far as any severe weather threat across the Arkle, Texas. We are at the surface watching an area of low pressure, which is slowly going to work, work its way uh, through the region here during the course of the next 24 hours. And as this low moves past, that will shut off any risk of severe weather. But we will continue to see a chance uh, for some wraparound rain, if you will, on the back side of the low as we go through your Friday. And into much of Friday night, we could continue with the chance uh, for some rainfall. Here's a look at timing of the rainfall with uh, Futurecast taking you through the nighttime hours tonight. If we see anything as far as severe weather, probably would be over the western edge of the Oracle Tex here in northeast Texas. Uh, other than that, just uh, the rain becomes a bit more scattered with a little bit of thunder a possibility going through tonight. You can see the main focus of the rain shifts into southwest Arkansas, southeast Oklahoma, and the northern sections of northeast Texas. And we'll see quieter weather to start Friday in Shreveport, but eventually that rain will wrap around and we'll see the scattered showers return to the rest of the Arkle Tex of Friday afternoon. As that low moves past, we'll see that rain gradually come to an end as we will begin Saturday with lots of clouds. Expect uh, a little bit more in terms of sunshine as we close Saturday with, uh, again, the uh, partly cloudy sky becoming more prominent as we head into a Saturday afternoon. As far as uh, the severe weather threat for today, especially for tonight, again, looking very low. Storm Prediction Center at one point did have slight risk for northeast Texas. Recent update, update did um, remove that basically just looking at a marginal risk. In other words, a one on that one to five risk scale. And to be honest with you, if we see anything as far as severe weather, wind and hail would be the main threats. The tornado window is going to be very, very brief. And if we see anything, again, would be over the western edge of the area here very early this evening. Meantime, uh, rain. We've had a lot of rain across much of the Oracle Tech. Still a possibility with the main focus shifting to the north. That could be where we might have an isolated report of uh, some flooding. But so far, we've been able to handle the rain that we've seen so far. So even that flooding risk is looking relatively low with the system coming through the area. Uh, Temperature-wise, we are looking at uh, readings tonight, not really dropping that much. You can see ranging from 45 in Shreveport to 48 in Texarkana, uh, four, uh, 53 degrees in uh, Dequeen, 44 in Center. So actually, ironically, cooler further south, warmer further to the north. And then tomorrow, we are looking at temperatures struggling to make it back into the low to middle 50s across the region. And tomorrow likely will be the coolest day of the week ahead, as we'll see this big upper-level system uh, Again, move right over the top of us as we go through your Friday. Once it moves away, conditions improve. We'll see uh, near normal temperatures return for Saturday and above normal temperatures for most of next week. And then we'll have to keep an eye on another one of these disturbances moving into Texas by the middle of the week. Most models keeping most of the rain to the south of the Oracle Tex. There is a very slight chance we could see a little bit of rain from this as we move through Wednesday. But once it passes, we are settling in back into a dry weather pattern uh, through next weekend. You can see the system drifting more towards the south as we head into Thursday. So your seven-day forecast looks like this. We will see uh, in Shreveport again a few lingering showers, especially in the afternoon tomorrow. Otherwise, uh, that rain will be uh, most widespread across the north tonight and much of tomorrow. Saturday and Sunday, we'll see the return of some sunshine. That sunshine will continue for Monday and Tuesday. Slight chance of rain Wednesday. And you can see daytime highs settling into the low to middle 60s for most of next week. Nighttime lows will be in the low to middle 40s. For Texarkana, you're looking at readings uh, tomorrow at the 55. Again, you'll have a little bit more rain in Texas Canada that we anticipate in Shreveport for a longer part of the day tomorrow. And you too will see that chance of rain return. Again, it says 50% there in Texas Canada for uh, Saturday. Take that out. We're not going to see any rain Saturday. And you can see that uh, heading into Wednesday. Once again, a slight chance of rain there as well with highs eventually returning to the lower 60s. So all in all, it does appear as if uh, lots of rain still a possibility. We'll see the rain begin to taper off as we go into the latter stages of the afternoon. New development possible across the northern half of the area uh, this evening and tonight. And then the good news is we see the sunshine return for the weekend and most of next week.